Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we will be discussing social interactions. So what exactly are social interactions? They are the process of acting toward and reacting to people around us. They can come in the form of verbal, nonverbal, face-to-face, or even social media interactions. Social structure is an important type of social interaction that makes up our everyday life and is defined as an organized behavior pattern which governs people's relationships. Every society has a set of cultural rules and norms that make life more orderly and predictable. One important social structure is status, which is a social position that a person occupies in society. For example, being a physician or a secretary are both statuses. However, one significant idea to note is that sociologists do not assume that one position or status is more important than the other. Instead, they are all important because they determine who we are. A status set is a collection of social statuses that a person occupies at a given time. For example, I am a brother, a son, a student, and a sociologist. Well, at least I aspire to be. These status sets can change throughout our life. For example, my status as a student will change when I join the workforce and own a job. Statuses are also relational. That means they are connected to other statuses. I, a student, have a teacher. Our status sets contain both an ascribed status, which is a social position we are born into, and an achieved status, which we attain through personal effort. For example, my ascribed status may include my sex, race, or ethnicity, while my achieved status may include being a parent or a college graduate. A master status overrides other statuses and is considered the most important part of a person's identity. Right now, my status as a student overrides all the others in my status set since my learning is what defines me at this moment in time. Each status is associated with a role. Roles are expected behaviors of people who have a particular status. For example, being a student is a status, but the behaviors of attending class and studying are considered roles. Those are the behaviors that is expected of you when you are a student. Although roles define how we are expected to behave, people do vary in how they fulfill the responsibilities associated with roles. For example, some students pass while others fail, which is most likely due to differences in attending class or studying. Such a difference between these students is known as the role performance. Playing many roles can lead to role conflict, which is a difficulty playing contradictory roles. For example, college students who have a job experience role conflict because both their professors and employers expect work from the student, and it is difficult to meet both expectations. The more time one spends working at their job, the less time one spends studying for their next test in school. Role strain, on the other hand, occurs when there are multiple conflicting demands in the same role. For example, students experience role strain when they have to study for both a biology and a calculus exam on the same day. The more time one spends studying biology, the less time they spend working on calculus. To minimize such conflicts, we can set priorities and make sure that we work on what we consider is more important first. Say you have a lower grade in calculus and are doing relatively better in biology. You may consider it better to study calculus because it is more important that you do well in that subject. Sociologists use both ethnomethodology and dramaturgical analysis to determine if how we see the world also, in addition to our roles and statuses, shapes our behavior. Ethnomethodology is the study of how people construct and learn to share definitions of reality that make everyday interactions possible. For example, what sociologists have learned in the past from ethnomethodology is that violating interaction rules, even unspoken ones, can trigger anger, hostility, or even frustration. For example, college students can become frequently upset if their professors are sarcastic, disrespectful, or unre- unprepared. Dramaturgical analysis, which is a research approach, examines social interactions as if it occurs on stages where people play different roles and act out scenes for audiences. This wraps up our discussion on social interactions. Thank you for watching and I hope you will tune in to our next episode.